mean duration per occurrence interval observer agreement. Right? Um, so this one's for a duration type behavior, a continuous behavior, one that you're using time to track. Right? So um, we got two people that are going to track a particular behavior. Let's say how long kiddo X, kiddo B, get Bob. Let's say how long Bob stays out of seat. All right, so person one is going to measure him. Oh, Bob was out of seat for 35 seconds. And person two goes, oh, no, he was out of seat for 30. Um, so we're going to take in that interval... Right? Remember, this is done by interval. So we're going to do. Um, so we're going to take that first duration for the the lowest duration divided by the highest duration for each interval. Right? We're going to get a number, a ratio, right, a percentage. We're going to do that for each and every interval that you have within your your time period, and then you're going to average those ratios, those percentages. So we have, the, you know, so anyway, anyway, it could be all the way from zero percent agreement to a hundred percent agreement in each interval, and you have a continuous scale in there, basically unlimited, right? Um, and then you average all those out. It's a pretty conservative number, or a pretty conservative method, uh, and it's it's highly preferred. It's, it's very useful if you actually have duration type data, if you can count it down um, with, a, with a stopwatch. So use it if you can.